Hello, my name is Josephine Lang, and I have really wrestled and tasseled with poison oak throughout my whole life long. But I have miraculously found a foolproof cure for poison oak, and I don't have to suffer with it anymore. And this happened because one night my husband and I went out to our favorite local little uh, Mexican restaurant, and we had burritos. And as I sat with my arms on the table, not thinking too much about it, I didn't realize it till later, but I started to get that significant, very distinctive little itch. And apparently somebody who had dined at the restaurant shortly before us had been working in clearing poison oak brush, perhaps from a hillside or something. And they must have had it on their clothing or on their skin. And I know that it's said that you can't pick up poison oak from tables or towels, but those of us who are very sensitive do know that you actually can get it from the fur of animals and from other surfaces. So I contracted a little case of poison oak, but that wasn't the only thing that I contracted that night. I also contracted a little bit of food poisoning, sadly. And I wound up losing my cookies that night, and it was a very uncomfortable evening. And the next morning I thought, you know, I feel so bad from that poisoning. I think I'll just drink green juice for a while. So I made my customary green juice, which uh, we put in the juicer with celery and cucumbers, which are nice and juicy and make a lot of juice, plus all sorts of green vegetables like zucchini and collards and kale and, uh, you know, anything else that you happen to like. I like fennel in my green juice, but nothing that's too starchy. So uh, summer squash, nice organic zucchini is good. I don't ever eat zucchini that's not organic because it's been registered for GMO, genetically modified organisms, and I don't care to eat that in my life if I can at all possibly avoid it. So I do also avoid corn chips and restaurants and other kinds of things because we don't want to eat any of those GMO foods if we can help it. So uh, I went ahead and made my green juice and miraculously my little couple of itchy spots on my arms backed down and didn't bother me. And I went ahead with my green juice for about two or three days and then I started to start have a few other foods like some nuts and seeds and I found that even with just a few cashews or a few nuts that my itchiness would start to return a little bit. I thought, uh-oh, what's that about? And if I had something like a cracker, it would really itch for a long time until that had really kind of passed through my system. Like I'm talking like a, a regular commercial cracker, not like a nut or seed cracker, which wouldn't have as much of an effect. But still, the, the nuts and seeds are a little higher glycemic index than the, than the green juices are. So I went back on green juice, and I found that if I stayed on the green juice for the whole two weeks, the poison oak went away, and it didn't, doesn't even bother me. So now, even though I will occasionally contract poison oak, I know that all I have to do is go on a green juice feast for a couple of weeks, and the problem is no longer bothering me. So I hope that this helps you and anybody that you know and love who has been wrestling with poison oak as I have in the past, and may you all be blessed with beautiful and perfect health. Much love to you, and check out my website if you get a chance. It's stepintomagic.com.